when I first got asked uh, by CCC to participate in something so amazing, I feel so honored because uh, they picked me uh, and I'm kind of glad that because I'm bilingual and I know a lot of merchants in Chinatown. So the whole process is very smooth and I explained to them that Dick Evans is a well-known photographer and in his eyes to see Chinatown is quite different. Seeing this book make you want to come back to Chinatown, although some business will never be there again but you're seeing all these people the lives of the Chinese people uh, the community the tradition and all those things really um, it's like a little village and we started like you know being united and the community is very strong we never see the vibrancy like how Dick Evans see it through his lens um, there's some images that sometimes I think I missed it and through in this book I saw a lot of images that I might not aware of it and then now I see how beautiful and how colorful Chinatown really is. When I heard I would be in the book I was super excited and of course very honored and um, the Grand Avenue Follies uh, we, we just couldn't believe it when we opened the book and, and we saw our pictures on, on page 92 and uh, it was it's very exciting because most of the Follies actually grew up in Chinatown, so it was so nice. I really connect to the uh, chapter that you talked about the um, single room occupancies because you talked about how the ladies would go downstairs at five o'clock, bring their shopping baskets and go up to Stockton Street to pick up vegetables and uh, bargains because my godmother used to do the same thing. And I actually used to go up to Stockton Street with her, and um, it was a, it is an experience, or was an experience that I will never forget. And you actually brought me back those memories, so I, I am very thankful for that. This book will really, we hope, will bring together people and the community together to celebrate the vibrancy, the culture, and the history of San Francisco Chinatown. Not very many people know that San Francisco Chinatown is a living, breathing community. There are people that live here, there are small businesses, and it is a very vibrant community. And we hope that the book will showcase that. The images that strike me the most are the photos of people because Chinatown is such a vibrant place and it's composed of so many leaders and people who care about the community that it's really touching to see the photos of the people that make the community what it is. As a matter of fact, when I looked at the book, I mean, how many people did I know? SRO residents who were in there, the Reverend Fong, uh, the leaders of the Chinese Consolidated Benevolent Association, our district captain who is uh, Chinese American and was actually his family, um, the Yik family was raised in the neighborhood. Um, I, I just have to say the book, um, because it really addresses every aspect of the community in a way um, that is not superficial, uh, I think it's going to be a source of pride for uh, Chinatown. But Chinatown is a remarkably resilient community and as is set forth in the book, I mean uh, whether it was the ghettoization period of the 1800s and the paper sons and paper daughters uh, or its resilience after the 1906 earthquake. So the Chinatown community uh, it's, in San Francisco is actually very unique in that it's really grounded in the people and the uh, merchants and the nonprofits that have de developed over the years in Chinatown. And the book really shows that kind of relationship and really grounded in displaying the people who are the essence. Uh, one thing that captured me is the fact that every single picture is mostly of people. I think a lot of people find beauty in nature, in uh, paintings and all, but for me, I think people is really the spirit of this community and to highlight people doing day-to-day -day things, just walking down the streets or uh, managing their own business, that is beauty for me. My first reaction to being invited to participate in the Chinatown book, I'm super excited and I feel thrilled. My first reaction to the book is I feel this is a compass for the future that connecting the past and current and yeah, our future generations. Mm -hmm. To understand this, there's a shoulder they're standing on, mm -hmm. the generations of immigrants mm -hmm. that's working very hard to establish and build 
this heritage. Mm. We're feeling proud of. Mm. Uh, besides my daughter's picture, um, the face changing one um, mm. that reminded me of a very um, enjoyable dining experience in Yu Shiyuan, the restaurant. That was actually um, where I met the performer and actually I invited him to one of my company's Chinese New Year event to perform. Mm -hmm. And that's where actually I met Deck who uh, took the picture of my daughter. Aside from walking through Chinatown, this is the next best thing. It's like a walk through Chinatown. Everything, everything about Chinatown, so colorful. The true life and the true flavor of Chinatown is in this book. Mm -hmm. Everything was covered from the dining halls to the lion dancing. So they want to take a bit of Chinatown with them. It's all here. You could, it couldn't be done more beautifully and uh, more complete. Uh, everything has been covered in this book. I just, I just love it and can't get enough of it. Just, uh, just uh, leafing through it all the time. And it just brings back uh, memories of, of, of Chinatown that people can have and preserve. What a beautiful coffee table book. San Francisco Chinatown. Congratulations, everybody!